be talking about really, I think, the broadest set of topics that I've, I've uh, tackled up here before. I uh, was talking to my wife last night, and I've uh, been on the stage a few times, and she sort of was challenged me on, you know, haven't you kind of played this movie before, as Brian said, and uh, is, is there anything new? And I was stepping back and thinking that with each year that this goes on, I, I actually have the opposite problem that just the industry is advancing so much, the sophistication of the users are advancing so much, the tools, what we're doing as we grow our operation, that I'm struggling to actually come up with what am I not going to talk about because the, uh, the opportunity just seems to grow. So part of this is Expedia is going through a bit of a renaissance right now. See a new logo there, we're gonna talk a bit about that, and the new tagline, where you book matters. And uh, we're really taking that seriously. We're a deeply analytical company and you know, what that means is we need to be relevant to our customers. We need to provide the services they want, the value, the product. We need to be focusing on what our site's supposed to do, which is helping customers book great travel and see that through. And uh, we're really rethinking everything that we're doing across our, our operations, the site, our business, our supply, to make sure as the industry gets more competitive, as more entrants come in, are we really continuing to be the preeminent brand? We kind of started this space and continue forward leading it. So we're gonna talk about some of the things that, uh, that we're doing. So first, just some fun facts if you're uh, not familiar with uh, with uh, Expedia today. So roughly, just the Expedia brand itself, roughly 15 billion in bookings, we're in 19 countries now, 10 languages, 11 currencies. Uh, last year, did about 10 billion page views just on the Expedia brand alone. Over 100 tracked sites at Omniture. We're expanding now to over 100 terabytes of stored data of, of tea leaf and Omniture and so forth. So I, we, we've got just a little tiny bit of data to play with. Um, so here's where we were about a year ago when I, uh, when I joined the Expedia brand team. And uh, this was our homepage, and uh, I don't know, can any of you figure out what you're supposed to click on on that page? Um, there's maybe 100 links, and uh, buy now, and trip type, and big savings, and no fees, and book without, and uh, there's, there's a lot on here. And we've done a lot of analytics to try to figure out how should we improve this? It's, you know, let's start with the homepage, let's work through the whole site. Of course, I'll tell you, it turns out you don't really need sophisticated analytics at all. All you need is Avinash. <laughs> so he came out to Expedia, met with the leadership team in front of us, and uh, I'll add with no data actually to speak with, his uh, assessment was uh, clutter on top of irrelevance. <laughs> so, that said, he's right. And uh, you know, we have been little by little edging away on how we're approaching things. This is what you'll find on our homepage today. And uh, big difference. Big difference in focus, big difference in messaging, trying to tie into this where you book matters. So just for fun, I've got, a, I've got a two minute reel, if you'll indulge me, on just the new brand and the new messaging and how it's starting to play out. Then we'll get into some more of the meat of what we're up to. are the building blocks of a perfect girls weekend. It all starts with having more hotels to choose from. That's why I book with Expedia, so I can find someplace familiar or somewhere more distinctive. Nice. Then I can compare dates to find out when I can save the most cash. Done and done. We should do this more often. More choices, more savings. Where you book matters. Expedia.com 
Here's a little trick I picked up by booking my family trip with Expedia. First, I find the flight I want, then a great hotel my kids will love. Yeah. But wait, here's the really cool part. When I book them at the same time, voila, I can save up to 450 bucks. And we all know that can come in pretty handy. Book flight and hotel and save more. Where you book matters. Expedia. Dit zijn de bouwstenen voor een perfect weekend. Het begint al meteen met zoveel hotels om uit te kiezen. Daarom boeken wij ons hotel bij Expedia.nl. We kunnen kiezen voor iets dat we kennen of... Som alle liker, men vent litt. Nå kommer de virkelige stilje. Maar jeg bestiller begge deler i samme gang i stedet for hver en for seg, så... Sim Salabin. Ja, vi sparer opp til 1000... Det er ikke så firkant. En dat is natuurlijk mooi meegenomen. you're wondering in the office we really do all give each other high fives and go dot com <laughs> it's just our way so you saw this was very global branding global messaging multiple languages i mean managing the metrics managing analytics globally it's it's a challenge multiple currencies multiple pnls multiple markets and historically we weren't really set up that way historically we were a startup and the idea was compete locally and we had all of these points of sale all around the world and we're basically told go do your thing we're not going to burden you with big company bureaucracy and all of the process go compete be merry we'll provide back end you can pull on but do your thing and uh, yeah some interesting things happened we uh anyway, so New global, things got more global. New competitive entrants came in, single global, global entities. We had uh, lots of duplication across our sites. You know, it turns out, while it seems like letting each site do their own thing is a good idea, do we really need 12 different calendar widgets across our, our points of sale? You know, probably not. I, uh, I used to do more manufacturing work, and there's a whole notion of design for manufacturability and consistency. We weren't doing it. We were just kind of reinventing all over the place. And it turns out when you looked across all the sites, while we wanted to make sure we were providing the right solution, the right customer facing store for each of these regions all over the world, most of what customers need worldwide is pretty similar. So we weren't taking advantage of that scale. So early last year, about a year ago, we announced a pretty massive global reorganization. We said, okay, we're now gonna have one Expedia brand. Worldwide, I'm a new president, take over the whole thing. We're gonna set up some regional leads to be the general managers of the regions, and then we're gonna set up some new global operating teams to do the things that we should be doing at scale. And one of those was global analytics and optimization. So I, I was asked, go, go do this, a group that prior did not exist. Now, we had lots of analysts, we had lots of technology, and looking around the company, where were we then? We had, in the technology organization, yeah, that's where T-Leaf was owned, and that's where the data warehousing was done, and that's where most of the BI tools were done. That was all done out of technology. In the US, we separately had a group focusing on customer experience and site conversion. We had functional analysts, we had financial business analysts. In Europe, there had been some consolidation, just try to deal with the, the, the larger number of countries there, um, and we're focusing on many different disciplines, marketing analysis, site analysis, customer analysis. Um, and, uh, and marketing analysis, um, supply organization that was doing, looking at our supply and sort and pricing and so forth. So it's all over the place. How do we pull this together? How do we really do this globally? So a lot of challenges trying to pull this together. There were no global standard definitions, so multiple data systems, multiple data with the same column names, but not the same real definitions underneath them. How the different groups were doing analysis were different, which meant now local points of sale were expecting things and we were gonna have to say no or do it differently or they were aggregating differently. So how do you, you know, year over year comps, go out the window. I mean, you know, dealing with these kinds of challenges, uh, you know, doing things like A-B testing. We had a tool that was being used globally and no one managing or owning it. It had kind of been built years before, and I mean, if you can imagine having no ownership of something that important, but we didn't, and we had no MVT to speak of. 
um, you know, from site conversion. We were doing some great stuff, but it wasn't really, you know, we, we, we were limited in our own ability to execute because there just wasn't any consistency. Uh, the EDW was done entirely out of the technology group. And it's funny, if you have a group of technologists that build something without any business representation or business sponsorship, you know, guess what happens and what comes out the door? <laughs> Not very useful. So that's, that's what we had. So kind of comes back to what I call the e-metrics wine. I can't imagine any of you have uttered any of these phrases before, you know, or generally after the e-metrics wine. Yeah. How do I get a seat at the table? How do I get management to care? How do I get them to listen? How do I get them to act on the action? How do we get more budget? How do we get more people? These are the questions all of us have been asking for years at these conferences. So the big experiment here, you know, imagine if we actually had management lesson. You know, let's take all the analysts, let's take all the tools, let's take all the platforms, let's take all the development around it, let's put it all together, let's empower it, let's have it report directly into the president. What happens? So we did that, having never done it before, not entirely sure what we're getting into. My boss, I don't even think, understood what it was he had signed up for. Just a bunch of other people told him, we really should do this, so he took a gamble and went with it. I, uh, for the first four months, I've got some of my team members here who will remember this. We, uh, his name is uh, Eric Rosa, and, uh, and uh, we had Operation Educate Eric, because I realized while it's great to have freedom and latitude to do your job, it's also great to have a boss who has a little bit of a clue of what it is you're doing. So even at this level, you know, we had to still go through Operation Educate Eric, but we did. And uh, this is what we launched with. We said, okay, let's, let's segment this up a little into some pretty specific disciplines. Site conversion. We've got conversion stuff going on here as well. You know, let's really focus on making sure that every possible opportunity we can find to improve the site, to reduce friction, to make it better for customers that we do that. Voice a customer, something we had been really serious about, but let's get globally focused on it. So everything from, from surveys, on you know, opinion lab type, uh, you know, at, at the moment of interaction, results, and so forth. Um, let's actually get serious about innovation testing. Let's become a test and learn machine. Let's set up a global owner, let's invest in it, let's get the right tools and do this. Statistical modeling, we've got statisticians. We've historically done most of the modeling on sort of what I'd call back office stuff, fraud, supply issues, things like that. Let's actually take the strength we've got and put it to the, the front of the store and more merchandising and promotional. Uh, data marts, let's get a business ownership. You know, let's actually make this data warehouse work for us and get data in there. It had a lot of good financial data, and it had basically no marketing data. Let's fix that. And, uh, and finally, analytics. Let's get the analysts focused, consistent. Let's get global reuse. Let's leverage it globally and pull that together. So that's what we launched. That was the mission. And uh, you know, the interesting thing is, so we pulled it all together, and I brought the team all together, and we were trying to kick this off, and all sorts of things started bubbling up to the surface that were really fascinating. So I'm going to walk through some of what we quickly discovered. So first, we literally, for real, wallpapered one, off, one, one wall in the office with uh, all the different marketing and trading reports that we were producing worldwide. I mean, it filled, you know, this is a, practically a hallway length wall, it filled the wall with all the reports. And, Turns out they were all essentially the same, all very data heavy, but all had completely inconsistent data. I mean, think about it. Basically the same reports, all different. We have uh, literally about half a dozen identical cookie customer mapping tables. How do we track people across cookies, across computers? Um, each one created without any regard for the prior one and more redundant than the one before. My uh, head of analysis likes to say that there are aircraft and emergency rooms with less redundancy built in than we have in these mapping tables. Uh, in the last five years alone, we've run at least four big econometric studies, MRI studies, to prove how well offline marketing is working. And honestly, we've ignored the results every single time. <laughs> 